In this video, we are going to visit Shri Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Temple in Bengaluru. The temple is located in Omkar Ashram in Omkar Hills, Bangalore. Omkar Hills in Srinivasapura is one of the highest points of Bangalore. Namaskar. Welcome to Satish Shankar's Vibes. Shri Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Devasthana is unique and one of the most magnificent and gigantic temples in Karnataka. Shri Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Temple, the 12 representative Jyotirlingas of the original Puranic 12 Jyotirlingas, which are in different parts of the country, are in one temple, each with an individual Garbhagraha and Vimana Gobaram. The Dwadasha Jyotirlingas are very sacred and auspicious and are different from the other Shivalingas. As per the Shastras, the darshan of even a single Jyotirlinga will lead to moksha. In Sanskrit, Jyoti means light. So, a Jyotirlinga is a shrine where Lord Shiva is worshipped in the form of a Jyotirlingam or Lingam of Light. Puranas say that Lord Shiva first manifested himself as a Jyotirlinga on the night of the Arudra Nakshatra and thus the special reverence for the Jyotirlinga. The names and the locations of the 12 Jyotirlingas are mentioned in the Shiva Purana. This Dwadasha Jyotirlinga temple is in Omkar Ashram which is an abode of temples and religious activities. Shri Matsya Narayana Temple, Shri Vanadurga Temple, Shri Nagadevata Temple, Shri Munishwara Temple, Goshala, Vishwamitra Veda Vidyalaya, Sacred Banyan Tree, Religious Harmony Memorial, Jain Tower Clock, which is one of the biggest clock in the world. A pilgrimage to this Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Tirtha Shetra and having darshan of all the temples will remove all the Navagraha doshas. This temple was founded by Brahmalina Sadguru Sri Shivapuri Swamiji with the intention of providing an opportunity to each and every devotee for Jyotirlinga darshan. The consecration of the 12 Jyotirlingas and Mahakumbhabhishegam of the temple was done by Sri Swami Madhusudan Anandapuri on the auspicious day of 16 February 2011. Inside the main temple, the 12 Jyotirlingas are seen along with Sri Vidya Ganapati, Sri Subramanya, Sri Kalabhairava, Sri Chandikeshwara, Ekadasha Rudra Devatas, Panchaloha Natraja weighing around 1000 kgs and the Divine Mother Shakti in the form of Sri Yantra. Of the 12 Jyotirlingas, the Omkareshwara Jyotirlinga measuring around 6 feet in height is at the center of the temple encircled by the other 11 Jyotirlingas. Omkareshwara Jyotirlinga is the main Jyotirlinga of this temple. At Sri Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Devasthana, all the 12 Jyotirlingas are along with the Shakti in the form of Sri Yantras. The Spatika Sri Yantra is in the Omkareshwara Jyotirlinga and in the remaining 11 Jyotirlingas, Panchaloka Sri Yantras are there. All the 12 Jyotirlingas face east. The Vimana Gopurams of Sri Saila Mallikarjuna and Sri Rameshwara Jyotirlingas, which are in South India, are in the South Indian style. And the Vimana Gopurams of the remaining 10 Jyotirlingas, which are in North India, are in the North Indian style. Hence, this temple is a harmony of South Indian and North Indian sculpture. The height of the Vimana Gopuram of the main Jyotirlinga, Sri Omkareshwara, approximately 108 feet from the ground level, is the highest among all the Vimana Gopurams. All the 12 Jyotirlingas are Narmadeshwara Lingas made from the stones of river Narmada, which is very auspicious for Shivalinga. 
beneath each and every jyotir linga thousand and eight small narmadeshwara lingas measuring around an inch in length are placed below shri omkareshwara linga 2008 small narmada lingas are placed so in total the temple consists of visible 12 main jyotir lingas and around 13000 invisible narmadeshwara lingas there is a giant tower clock which is one of the biggest clock in the world the divine mother shri vanadurga is the presiding deity and the stana devata of the omkara hills vanadurga is one of the numerous forms of goddess durga the temples of vanadurga are always open to air she is a living deity staying under the sacred banyan tree at the top of the omkar ashram hill this temple is open from morning 7 am to 12:30 pm and in the evening from 4:30 pm to 8 pm on sundays and holidays the temple is open for darshan from morning 7 am to evening 8 pm Shri Matsya Narayana Temple is unique and the only temple in Karnataka for Shri Matsya Narayana Swami. Shri Matsya Narayana Temple faces east and is located behind the Dwadasha Jyotirlinga Temple in Omkar Hills.